Sending programmes, also known as international service learning, are when teachers undertake a structured learning experience with an overseas community, for example, spending time teaching in a developing country. These experiences can often be very transformative, with teachers participating in intercultural dialogue, learning from cross-cultural contexts, and gaining an enhanced sense of what it means to be a global citizen. Here in Freville Department, we've had a partnership with the Irish Charity Hope Foundation since 2008, established to provide an opportunity for NQTs or newly qualified teachers to have a real life lived experience teaching alongside their Indian counterparts in Calcutta. To date, we've had over 300 graduates participate in the programme. Freble and Hope have a shared vision built on principles of child-centred, holistic and culturally responsive education. The work of the partnership is always informed by the express needs of our Indian counterparts. Through a reciprocal pedagogy, lecturers facilitate learning in Calcutta, while Hope trainers of teachers travel to Ireland to study and to inform strategic planning. Freble NQTs spend five weeks teaching each summer in pairs in Hope supported education centres. We believe in fully supporting students as they prepare for this learning experience by providing pre and ongoing orientation with a post trip debrief. There can be a lot of learning that emerges when a teacher goes outside of their comfort zone and teaches abroad for a period of time. Our alumni in the Freville department have self-reported increased levels of resilience, empathy, confidence, critical thinking, motivation to take action against injustice, but also resourcefulness and less reliance on technology, all of which are skills that they then bring back to their own classroom in Ireland. But we are also keenly aware of the potential problems that can emerge from sending programmes, and these are well documented in the research. There can often be a big disconnect between the theory and practice of sending programmes, and unfortunately, sometimes existing worldviews or stereotypes can be reinforced. As a result, in the Freville department, we were eager to create formal structured supports for graduating students who would then travel to teach in Kolkata. We decided to design an elective module, which would be underpinned by post-colonial theory. We wanted to include content and methodologies that would enable learners to move away from any ethnocentric assumptions that they might have previously held, as well as to challenge narratives of dependency and helplessness. All students who travel to India must participate in this elective as part of their pre-orientation. Using dialogic approaches, opportunities for active engagement, we explore post-colonial theory with a particular emphasis on concepts such as power, privilege, othering and representation. We give time to consider the ethics of fundraising while also unpacking representations of Indian in the Western world. To ensure students have a broad understanding of India, we explore the Indian primary school curriculum while also studying authors, artists and filmmakers from India through independent tasks. Culturally relevant teaching methods are deemed pertinent to ensure students can plan effectively for the children they will be teaching. Frameworks for reflection are offered to support students as they challenge their assumptions and think about their changing opinions. Comprehensive logistical planning is detailed in a phased approach across the elective. Students are awarded academic credits for participation on this elective. We hope the introduction of this elective in Freble provides students with the space to reflect on the complexities as well as the opportunities offered by sending programmes. Thank you.